Pathmark is the intelligent tool for website lead generation. With increasing online competition, over 98% of website visitors don't convert. The ability to successfully show your value proposition and support visitors in their buying journey separates you from the competition online. Pathmark qualifies and converts leads on your website by figuring out where they are in the buying journey and influencing them in key decision moments with relevant micro experiences like case studies, intro videos, and much more. Stay relevant to your visitors and increase conversions by 50%. Add Pathmark to your website in seconds. Let the AI do all the work and get access to 50% more qualified leads while you keep doing marketing and sales as usual. Check us on pathmonth.com. Welcome to today's episode. Let's talk about today's guest. We have Eli from Rosenblum Law, VP of Marketing and Strategy with them. How are you doing today, Eli? Great. How are you? I'm doing great, great, great to have you on. I'm, uh, I'm sure our listeners are tuning in, you know, wondering, hey, what, what Rosenblum, Rosenblum Law, uh, you know, who they tailored to. Uh, so let's let's kick it off with that. Uh, Eli, can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, so we're admitted to practice in the state of New York and New Jersey, also in federal court. So we're handling a wide variety of cases, uh, both in New York, New Jersey, and across the nation. Um, our primary our primary practice areas are personal injury and copyright infringement, uh, but we also uh, have many more, such as estate planning, uh, family law, criminal defense, et cetera. Perfect. Awesome. Great to hear that. And so that way our listeners could get a good understanding of, of Rosenblum. Um, is, is there a, a certain type of, of client that you guys like to go for or a certain case that you guys like to go for? Or uh, what, what would be the ideal uh, ideal client for you guys there at Rosenblum? It's every practice area has its own uh, type of customer that we'll be looking to attract. Um, but generally speaking, uh, you know, we're looking for someone who is bought into the legal process, whether that be uh, they have a personal injury case or uh, they're uh, defending themselves against a copyright infringement matter. They have to understand the replications or the implications of, of the matter and be bought in and communicate with their lawyer. And uh, we're, look, we're looking for clients that are what we call good clients, you know, people who present well, they're professional, uh, they communicate well. Um, and they're bought into the process. Absolutely. What a great, and I know, I mean, you guys do a lot, you know, personal injury, bankruptcy, property infringement, name changes, traffic tickets. Is there one that you guys like to specialize in or it's, it's, it's one within? Uh, as of now, we're really focused on the personal injury component and, uh, you know, we're growing a, a wide variety of cases from oil accidents to medical malpractice cases. Um, you know, there right now, especially coming out of COVID, uh, there are a lot of people who the hospital system has neglected and they've um, incurred serious injuries or often death uh, as a result of not getting the proper care. That's funny. Okay, awesome. And uh, so how would somebody typically find out about Rosenblum? Is there a top client acquisition channel for you guys? Yeah, so we're really highly invested in search engine marketing. And uh, we have a, a robust content engine that's um, building content uh, for any type of query that somebody has along the customer journey. So we look at each one of our practice areas and we understand the customer journey on what, what they're going to be looking for online uh, during their informational gathering parts, which primarily happens on Google. And we try to make sure that we're in the first position uh, on Google uh, during that query. So ultimately... Uh, we can persuade them to call us and ultimately convert. Yeah, fine. All right, All awesome. Uh, and so that way, our listeners who are tuning in can go ahead and and visit you guys. That would you could visit them at rosenbloomlaw dot com. What role does a website play then for new clients for you guys? Uh, it's the first touch point um, they'll have with us. Typically, they'll be looking for information on Google. They'll fall upon our website. They'll see that we have a wealth of knowledge uh, and wealth of content on our website that's informative and educates them. And then throughout that content, we try to, we uh, have calls to action for them to call us and probably get a free consultation. And during that time, we'll, we'll go, we'll help them understand uh, everything that they're going through and um, provide our assistance. Definitely. Okay. Awesome. And, and as far as the website, is there any tools or tips or methods that you would recommend to our listeners as far as some website lead generation? Left? Yeah, so one of one of the things that uh, we've tested a lot, uh, pretty extensively, 
um, is having a call to action above the fold, um, right in the hero section. And we've seen that that uh, drives significant conversions. And furthermore, uh, to double down on that, if it's ne- uh, if you can make the call to action specific to the query that the person came from, uh, it has even a more higher uh, conversion rate. So, um, you know, that's something that we've been working to implement across our sites. Definitely important, right? Awesome to hear that from you guys. Um, and well, let's then switch a little bit gears here, Eli, and let's talk about you. You being the, the VP of marketing strategy there for Rosenblum. Uh, what are some key tasks you focus on your day-to-day work? Uh, it's really overseeing the team, uh, the various teams that are working, whether it be social content, uh, video, uh, email, uh, development, uh, you know, all of those different teams are working on various different projects and making sure people are uh, meet, meeting the deadlines and, and going in the direction uh, that makes sense for our firm. Okay, awesome. Um, and well, let's jump into our next section here then, Eli, which is our rapid fire question rounds. Uh, are you ready for them? Sure, it'd be. All right, first off, uh, what is the last book that you read? The last book that I read, uh, The Psychology of Influence by Robert Cialdini. Okay, interesting read there for, for our listeners. Uh, next is, what is one single thing that your company's focused on at the moment the most? Um, it, the the rate of uh, calls to opportunities. So uh, right now, um, when somebody calls into our firm, there's a, an answering uh, IVR, it's called, to go a voice over that where we can route people to the right calls. It's actually a lot of drop off. Uh, people will hang up when they when they get those, and often, um, also if you look at how many rings somebody has after they've gone through the IVR, a lot of people hang up. So trying to get uh, on top of those calls and answering them quickly, so uh, we can make the most of every call that comes in. Yeah, only important. I, I definitely would agree with you. That's that's something that to take a look into. Uh, but next is. If there'd be no boundaries in technology, Eli, what would be that one thing that you want to have fixed for your role as a marketer today? Um, I'd love to make uh, the vid- uh, more seamless video experience for our clients uh, in terms of interacting uh, with, with us face-to-face or via, via camera. You know, a lot of people even today, even after COVID, uh, have issues with Zoom. Uh, or jumping on to uh, a screen to, to have that in-person uh, communication. So I think, per, and you know, just to summarize, that, I think ultimately the direction that we're going in the technology world is personalization and, and providing, having a personalized experience, I think, is what's going to set uh, firms apart from others. Well, right, interesting. I definitely, definitely would agree with that. Um, and next is, if there's one repetitive task that you could automate, what would that be? Uh, auditing. <laughs> That's okay. And you, you, you always need to audit your, your staff and, and make sure that they're doing things the, the way that they should. And um, also auditing provides a way to gain insight into how things are being done. So, I mean, we're constantly doing that. If there was a way for a machine to do that for me and give me the output, that'd be amazing. Definitely. Okay. Awesome to, to hear that. Um, and lastly, uh, Eli, I mean, you have a lot of experience already within the marketing world, but what is one piece of advice that you would give yourself if you were to restart your journey as a marketer today? Um, what would I tell myself? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think what I would go, I would say to jump onto the social media trends earlier on and then I did I mean I jumped on it pretty quickly but you know if you would if you were jumping onto handles and and actually implementing social right right when it came out you had such a leg up you could have millions of followers and maintain that and have a lot of brand equity or social equity um so that's what I would tell myself that way okay awesome um, well, th- th- thanks so much, uh, Eli, for being on with us today in, in today's episode here at Pathmonk Presents. But we, before we end the episode, I do want to give you the last word. If someone forgets everything about the interview today, what is that one thing they should remember about Rosenblum? 
Uh, Rosenblum provides unmatched uh, legal ex- uh, legal expertise in both personal injury and medical malpractice. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're pioneering the space in terms of uh, technology and, and service. There you guys heard it from, from Mila. You could always check them out at rosenbloomlaw.com. Your dedicated and trusted legal team with three generations and more than 100 years of combined legal experience. Visit them. Thank you so much, Eli, for being with us today. To our listeners, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm looking forward to our next episode at Pathmonk Presents. Thanks a lot, Eli.